Ah, welcome back to Virus Bloke 2 in Minecraft. I lied, I'm not going to start in the building. It's kind of a fun way to start it. Going into the building and making your way to the portal. Just like you would in the game. Although you wouldn't start floating in the air above the forest. Whatever though. Today we're going in the cliff. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Here we are at the cliff. And just just try to ignore the the distant views of the open side of Microsoft and everything. Not particularly immersive, but it's not supposed to be. But yeah. We're exploring at night for one particular reason, and we'll get to that at the bottom of this cliff here. Here's the ice rock. When you come back and revisit this place, it's there and Kimari talks to you for some reason from Final Fantasy X. That shows you a bunch of faces. Don't know why. How random. Yeah, here's where all the people would be. Wondering if that was the man from the legends who went down here and saying they can smell the cave from here. Oh, oh god. Dangerous. I suck at laddering. Yeah. Oh, dodgy. Oh! No, not now! Yep, go away. Thank you. Magical powers. I am the weather wizard in this game. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. It's a bit more accurate than Forest Bloke 2 in Second Life. Because that one had ladders leading to all the platforms, but not in this one. Because uh, uh, uh. in Forest Bloke 2 you could just jump between them. Of course you can't jump back up, but that's another matter. Look, even these rocks are in the right places. So accurate. Now into the cave. This is why we're exploring it at night, because for some reason, light is coming in here. It still is, but at least it's a bit darker now. Yeah, I'm not sure where these light sources are coming from. This place is surrounded in black wool. But random lights there. So yeah, not, not quite as dark as I would like, but you know, you can only do so much more rocks that are in the right positions, even the path is the right shape. Ah, oh, I spent so much time and effort into detail. Ooh, there's a cave over there. Here's the broken path. I'm not sure why it's broken. And presumably in the game you and mind out all of this. So, I don't know what the big pit is all about. Whatever though, it's a game. And I don't know why he particularly chose this cave to make bigger. Doesn't matter though. Oh. Bing! You found a secret! This is where you find the cheese chest. Cheese! Yep, no, it's a potato. Oh, grassy up here. Leave our gold alone! I could have just made this like a gold ore block ore block in the wall. But I only realised that after I'd already made all of the wall out of granite and I didn't feel like doing it all again in just stone. Because if I put a gold ore in here it would just look out of place. But yeah, that's the end already. It's not gold anyway, it's the horse's thing. And then later in the game it turns into a energy crystal, I think, or was it a depleted crystal? I don't remember. You can't get to that rock normally. You have to use a cheat to get to it. Either the no-clip cheat or the, the hard-to-use teleport cheat to teleport onto that platform. In the game, when you use it, it turns the path into a snow path for some reason. It has no point. There is no point. But it's just a little thing. A little reason to play the game with cheats. For a bit of extra fun. Yeah, let's not jump down there. And that's the cliff. It's more of a mountain really, isn't it? 
I guess the cliff in the game would have led down to the ocean or something, but I mean that is what a cliff does. Whoops. Whoops. Oh man, I'm really good at jumping today. Whoops. Yeah, skill. And that was the cliff. So yeah. What's up here? Dodgy. Thanks for watching this episode of Virus Bloke 2 in Minecraft. Next time, we're going to the village of food. That'll be a short place, but oh well. See you then.